What's going on, everybody? Hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Now, today we're going to be checking out some MAC-10 gameplay, playing on Armada, which is actually a pretty decent map now. You know, at first I didn't really care for it, but the more that I learned the techniques, the spots, and the ways that you're supposed to run around on this map on 6v6, I'm slowly starting to get used to it a little bit more. But we're going to be rocking the MAC-10 in this gameplay. I believe the score was like 36-3, and so I absolutely sauced up this lobby. And also, I do apologize, I started the recording a little too late, so you guys missed like maybe 5 kills or something like that, but there's still tons of saucy gameplay to go through. And also, I do want to just let you guys know the gameplay is only like five minutes long, and instead of wasting another brand new clip or really saucy clip, I'm just going to probably use some old gameplay from probably the beta or something like that to fill up the rest of this whole video. But today is an extremely big day for the Call of Duty community because we finally got our first leaks for the next Call of Duty video game in 2021. And yes, you guys might be saying, well, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War just came out. Chill out a little bit, JB. Slow down. Calm your horses. But the only reason that I'm already talking about Call of Duty 2021 so early in Black Ops Cold War's life cycle is because it seems that the developers are going to be a completely different studio, something that I did not expect coming out of the next Call of Duty video game. Now, if you haven't really been into too many conspiracy theories or anything that's going on in the Call of Duty community or any of the old leaks that happened before Black Ops Cold War came out, I'm just going to quickly explain them to you so you understand the whole idea of what's going on here, and it'll definitely make the end of the video and, you know, who this secret development studio who's coming in to actually make this video game make a tad bit more sense. Now, if you don't know the original story of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, it goes like this. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War was apparently initially made by Sledgehammer Games, but in the middle of the development cycle, Sledgehammer Games had a little bit of beef with Raven Software when it came to, you know, the development of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and Activision wasn't having it. They didn't want to deal with any of this stuff. They were probably trying to meet deadlines, and this personal beef between the two development teams was probably really holding back the success of the title and was going to make, you know, the outcome of this game a lot worse than they were expecting it to. So in order for Activision to save a ton of time and a lot of resources, they made the big move to go ahead and cut Sledgehammer Games off of this title and go ahead and let Treyarch Studios finish off the rest of the production of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And Activision actually did make a tweet a very long time ago stating that they don't know if the Call of Duty community is going to enjoy this game, and they definitely do not think that this game is going to be a much better seller than Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So if you have a massive company saying to the community already that they don't know, they don't think it's going to be a much better seller, than Modern Warfare, you know something's wrong. Because the main goal that they're trying to do here is to outsell themselves every single year. That's what the investors like. That's what they like, the publishers. It's good for everybody when the game is continuously doing better and better after every year. But if the actual publishers are nervous and saying that they don't know if the game is going to perform well, obviously something is going wrong. And it honestly confirms it a little bit more that Sledgehammer Games was removed from the middle of the cycle because that would make sense to me. Activision doesn't know if this game is going to turn out good because almost halfway through the whole cycle of this video game, there was beef between the two development studios designing the game, and then of course they had to take away studios, bring in a whole new studio from a game that's already been made by another development team, and they have to come up and pick up the scraps. You know, it's a, just a very rough situation, so it makes sense. But just recently, Sledgehammer Games has come out on Twitter and made a tweet saying, Power off, power on. Let's try this again. Happy New Year. Now, this can mean many things. I don't know if it's anything going on internally with Sledgehammer Games. I don't know if they're working on any other projects. But what this means to me is that because of the issues that they had with Raven Software and all this stuff going on with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War... They're saying power off, power on. They're restarting, they're coming back fresh, they're resetting everything that's going on, and they're just going to try to come back even stronger than ever. That's what that means to me. Which means that Sledgehammer Games actually wasn't cut from the development team. They were probably just taken away temporarily to allow Treyarch to come in and save this video game, since Activision obviously had no faith that Sledgehammer and Raven were going to be able to settle their differences when it came to Black Ops Cold War. So basically... This is pretty good news, actually. I think this is actually nice because Call of Duty World War II, to me personally, wasn't the most outstanding video game, but it was definitely polished near the end of its cycle, and I could see the potential that Sledgehammer Games had when it came to making Call of Duty video games. They have the potential. They know what a Call of Duty game is supposed to feel like. It's just it was a bad turn when World War II came out, and I think that Black Ops Cold War would have been a banger, to be honest with you, if Sledgehammer's name was the official development studio of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. 
Because even though me personally, I enjoy Black Ops Cold War, I think it's a very fun game, even though it has tons of issues, clearly. Skill-based matchmaking, tons of bugs and glitches, but at the end of the day, the majority of the community doesn't even think this game feels like a Treyarch video game. It feels completely different from a game like BO4, BO3, BO2, even BO1. You could just simply go back and play Black Ops 1 right now. And if you guys haven't checked out my streams already, I play Black Ops 1, Black Ops Cold War, tons of old-school Call of Duty games over on my live stream on Twitch. If you want to check that out, the link to that is in the description. But I do that all the time i go back i play the old school call of duty games just to get a feel for them and it's a completely different experience from black ops 1 all the way up to black ops cold war it just simply doesn't feel like a Treyarch video game let alone the map designs and everything about the game it feels a tad bit off it feels like i just said a while ago in a couple of other videos actually a lot of other videos that sledgehammer games made the beginning portion of this video game they set the foundation of the game and then Treyarch came in afterwards and added their little special touch already to a sledgehammer foundation of a call of duty game also, if you need any more proof, here is a tweet from Tom, who's actually a very reliable leaker when it comes to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and a lot of Treyarch titles. And I don't know if this is going to be very true, because like I said, all of his information, all of his sources, I'm assuming are coming from Treyarch. So maybe Treyarch does know behind the scenes of what's going on. Well, honestly, obviously they know behind the scenes. They make games for Activision, so clearly I think they know who's coming out with the game for 2021. But Tom goes out on Twitter and puts out a tweet saying, who's ready for this year's COD? You are. And obviously has a sledgehammer in the image and everything going on here. Obviously trying to state that Sledgehammer Games is going to be making the next Call of Duty video game. And honestly, this is all a very smart move by Activision if this information is true. Because obviously due to COVID, a lot of issues are going on in the current world when it comes to gaming, which is making games like this, Cyberpunk, a lot of other titles being released completely incomplete all broken, all having tons of bugs, like Black Ops Cold War, full bugs, no content, tons of glitches. It's an unpolished, unfinished video game. It has a great foundation, it's just not simply there. It has no content in the game. It's bugs every five seconds, the sky turns pitch black, trees and textures aren't loading in every single five seconds, some of my classes don't even work. It's so many glitches in this video game, I can't even count them, to be honest with you guys. But it's just proof that this has affected a lot of the development teams, and obviously, COVID hasn't gone anywhere. It's still here, even though it's 2021, we're in a brand new year, we still have the same issues that have been dragging on from the year of 2020 that these developers still have to work with. So if Infinity Ward is quote-unquote supposed to be working on the next Call of Duty video game, which a lot of people were thinking that the next game was going to be Modern Warfare 2, after, of course, Call of Duty Modern Warfare that was released in 2019. But obviously, they are working through COVID right now. They have multiple years to make these games and prep these games ahead of time. But all of these years that Infinity Ward has been making Modern Warfare 2 or whatever their next game is going to be, they have been going through a lot of the slumps, a lot of the bullcrap, a lot of, you know, just to all these issues. And also, if you guys didn't know, there was a leak a little while ago also stating that Sledgehammer Games was going to be working on a free-to-play title, which makes even more sense to me now. Because they're coming in late once again, they had issues with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, they were removed from the studio, they weren't allowed to make Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Treyarch had to finish off the progress, and of course they're coming in, as Infinity Ward is probably already struggling from COVID and stuff like that, and not being able to get finished with this video game. So Activision probably thinks that they're going to release a free-to-play video game. That's the best way around it. Obviously, free-to-play games work tremendously. As you guys know, Call of Duty Mobile brings in millions of dollars on the regular, just simply from a mobile app game that's free-to-play. And free-to-play games just simply don't need as much effort. Sledgehammer Games could easily whip up a nice free-to-play game within one year. It doesn't have to have outstanding graphics. It doesn't have to have outstanding animations. It's free-to-play. And obviously, as you guys see right now, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare, I don't know why they're doing this, but they're combining them into one game. You know, if you load up Black Ops Cold War, you have three options, Warzone, Black Ops Cold War, or Modern Warfare. If you load up Modern Warfare, the same screen, you have three options, Modern Warfare, Warzone, or Black Ops Cold War. Instead of how it was back in the day where you load up one game and that's the game that you're playing, no. You load up the game and you see all three different modes across in one sequence. Which means that Activision is trying to combine both these games into one ginormous video game, which is a smart tactic. It's a very smart tactic, because Modern Warfare is very polished off after the year that's been put through, and Black Ops Cold War will be in the same exact condition as Modern Warfare. After this game goes through a year of development, a year of content being added into the game, and a year of being polished, which means by the end of this year, when Sledgehammer Games is supposed to be releasing a free-to-play Call of Duty game, both Cold War and Modern Warfare should be completely polished, tons of content, and both completely working video games, which is very great news. 
But to me, that really does make it seem like Sledgehammer Games will 110% be the next development studio. It's all adding up to me. All the puzzle pieces are slowly coming together. Treyarch and Infinity Ward are working together to make one ginormous video game between Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare, and Sledgehammer Games will be making a free-to-play video game for Call of Duty 2021, which will also bring them in tons of profits. But again, nothing is confirmed. We don't know if any of this stuff is true. It's just tons of different leaks, and obviously tweets from Sledgehammer Games themselves saying, you know, power all, power back on, we're back at it, blah blah this, blah blah that. It's great to see. I'm actually really excited to see the future if Sledgehammer Games does have anything planned for us. And honestly, let's just keep our fingers crossed that maybe Call of Duty will have a good year in 2021 with a complete released game. Something that's not going to be crap or buggy or messed up or have no content. I want a legitimate video game that's worth $60. But guys, make sure you go down in the comment section and leave your opinions down below. Do you think it's a good idea that Sledgehammer Games might be coming back? Or do you think they should just stay away and leave it to Treyarch and Infinity Ward? But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like. And by all means, if you hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new you enjoy the content don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button also you want to chat with me there's two ways to do so i have a twitter and a discord both those links are down in the description and also you want to catch me live streams on video games i do the over on twitch link to that is in the description as well but guys thank you so much for tuning in see you on the next one peace out